Now let's see the next question. That is question number 51. What external changes are visible after the last molt of a cockroach nymph? Option number A, mandibles become harder. Option number B, anal cerci develop. Option number C, both fore wings and hind wings develop. Option number D, labium develops. This is from the chapter structural organization in organism. That is in the class 11 chapter. So what is the correct answer? So in that chapter I have told you about that the cockroach anatomy and the structural organization of cockroach is a very important topic. So what is the correct answer from this four option? That is option number C. Both four wings and hind wings get developed in this period of their life cycle. So this is the correct answer. Now let us see the next question that is question number 52. In this question you can see the Golgi complex plays a major role in option number A in trapping light and transforming into chemical energy, option number B in digesting proteins and carbohydrates, option number C as energy transferring organelles, option number D in post translational modifications of proteins and glycosidations of lipids. Student, this is a very easy question and it has come from the chapter Sale the unit of life. There we have discussed different types of organelles which are present inside the cells. So what is the correct answer among these four options? That is option number D. Golgi complex, it plays a major role in post translational modification of proteins and glycosidation of lipids. That is the correct answer. Now let us see the next question that is question number 53. In this question you can see which one of the following organelles in this figure correctly match with its function. So this is the figure you can see. Now let us see what are the options. Option number A, rough endoplasmic reticulum, formation of glycoproteins. Option number B, Golgi apparatus, protein synthesis. Option number C, Golgi apparatus, formation of glycolipids. Option number D, rough endoplasmic reticulum and protein synthesis. So from that figure, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number D. The figure was of rough endoplasmic reticulum that means they have ribosomes on their surface and it helps in protein synthesis. So that is the correct answer and it has come from the chapter cell the unit of life. Now let us move on to the next question that is question number 54. Now in this question you can see macromolecule chitin is option number A nitrogen containing polysaccharide, option number B phosphorus containing polysaccharide, option number C sulfur containing polysaccharide, option number D simple polysaccharide. Student what is the correct answer? Macromolecule chitin is a nitrogen containing polysaccharide. It has come from the chapter biomolecules. So among these four option, option number A is the correct answer. Now let us see the next question that is question number 55. In this question you can see the essential chemical components of many coenzymes are option number A proteins, option number B nucleic acids, option number C carbohydrates and option number D vitamins. So this question is from the chapter biomolecules. It has asked what is the essential chemical components of many coenzymes? The correct answer will be vitamins. So vitamins is the correct answer. That means option D is the correct answer for this question number 55. Now let us see the next question that is question number 56. A stage in cell division is shown in the figure. Select the answer which gives correct identification of the stage with its characteristics. Student observe this figure carefully. Now let us find out what are the options given in this question. Option number A, telophase that means where the nuclear envelopes reforms, Golgi complex reforms. Option number B, late anaphase in which the chromosome move away from equatorial plate and the Golgi complex not present. Option number C, cytokinesis in which the cell plate formed mitochondria distributed between two daughter cells. 
and in option number D, it is telophase in which the endoplasmic reticulum and nucleolus not reformed yet. So, what is the correct answer? So, correct answer is option number A, telophase. So, in the figure, it was shown the telophase stage in which the nuclear envelopes were reforming and the Golgi complex were also reforming. So, that is the correct answer and it has come from the chapter cell cycle and cell divisions. All right. Now, question number 57. Select the correct match of the digested products in humans given in column 1 with their absorption site and mechanism in column 2. So, here is the options given. Option number A, glycine, glucose and their absorption site is small intestine, active absorption. Option number B, fructose, sodium, their absorption site is small intestine and they are passive absorptions. Next option number C, glycerol, fatty acid, their absorption site is duodenum and they move as climomicrons. Next option number D, cholesterol and maltose, their absorption site is large intestine and they are active absorption. Student, what is the correct answer? Well, this is from the chapter digestion and absorption. So, what is the correct answer among these four options? That is option number A. Glycine and glucose, their absorption site is small intestine and they are active absorptions, which means they require energy to transport their materials. All right. Now, let us move on to the next question. That is question number 58. A pregnant female delivers a baby who suffers from stunted growth, mental retardation, low intelligence, quotient and abnormal skin. This is the result of Option number A, deficiency of iodine in diet. Option number B, low secretion of growth hormone. Option number C, cancer of the thyroid gland. And option number D, over secretion of pars distalis. This is from the chapter chemical coordinations and integration. So, what is the correct answer? Why a baby will suffer from stunted growth? mental retardation, then low intelligence, quotient and abnormal skin. It is due to the deficiency of iodine in diet, which means option number A is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question. That is question number 59. The figure shows a diagrammatic view of human respiratory system with labels A, B, C and T. Select the option which gives correct identification and main function and or characteristic. Student observe this figure very carefully. This is from the chapter breathing and exchange of gases. So, what we have to do? We have to correctly identify and their functions. Now, let us see what are their options. In this following options, the option number C that is alveoli. C is the alveoli which is thin wall vascular bag like structure for exchange of gases. That is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us see the next question. In this question number 60, you can see this figure. This figure shows schematic plan of blood circulation in humans with level A to D. Identify the level and give its functions. Student, this question is from the chapter breathing and exchange of gases. So, what is the correct answer here? Let us see the options. You can see here are the options given. Option number A, pulmonary vein. It takes impure blood from body parts PO2 that is partial oxygen which is equal to 60 mmHg. Option number B, in the level B, it is pulmonary artery and it takes blood from heart to lungs and the PO2 is 90 mmHg. Option number C, vena cava, which is in level number C and it takes blood from body parts to right auricle and their PCO2 that is partial carbon dioxide rate is 45 mmHg. Next is option number D, where the level number D is the dorsal aorta and it takes blood from heart to body parts and their partial oxygen is 95 mm Hg. So, student, this is from the chapter breathing and exchange of gases. 
So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number C that is C number is vena cava and the vena cava it takes blood from body parts to right auricle and their partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 45 mm HT. Now let's see the next question that is question number 61. In this question number 61 you can see here is the diagram which is given here is the standard ECG of a normal person. Now the P wave represent the let's see the option. Option number A contraction of both the atria. Option number B initiation of ventricular contraction. Option number C beginning of systole. Option number D end of systole. This is from the chapter breathing and exchange of gas. So what does the P wave represent? It represents the contraction of both the atria which means option number A is the correct answer. Alright, now in this question number 62 you can see the figure shows human urinary system with structures level A to D. Select the option which correctly identifies them and gives their characteristic or functions. Student you can see this is the figure which has directly come from your book. The chapter name is excretory products and their elimination. Now let's see what are the options given for this question. Option number A. The A level denotes the adrenal gland which is located at the anterior part of the kidney and it secretes catecholamines which stimulate glycogen breakdown. Next option number B that is B is pelvis. It is the broad funnel shaped space inner to hilum and directly connected to the loops of Henle. Option number C, the C labeling denotes the medulla which is the inner zone of kidney and contains complete nephrons. Option number D, the D denotes cortex which is the outer part of the kidney and does not contain any part of the nephrons. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is in option number A. That is the A labeling denotes the adrenal gland which is located at the anterior part of the kidney and it secretes catecholamines which stimulate glycogen breakdown. So that is the correct answer. Now let's move on to the next question. In this question number 63 you can see select the correct statement with respect to locomotions in human. Option number A, a decreased level of progesterone causes osteoporosis in old people. Option number B, accumulation of uric acid crystals in joints causes their inflammation. Option number C, the vertebral column has 10 thoracic vertebra. Option number D, the joint between adjacent vertebra is a fibrous joint. So then this topic we have already discussed in the chapter locomotion and movement. So which of the following is the correct statement with respect to locomotions in humans? That is option number B. Option number B is accumulation of uric acid crystals in joint which causes their inflammation. So that is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 64. The characteristic ant and an example of a synovial joint human is option number A, fluid cartilage between two bones, limited movement is the example of knee joint. Option number B, fluid filled between two joints provide cushion, it is a skull bones. Option number C, fluid filled synovial cavity between two bones is the example of the joint between atlas and axis. Option number B, lymph fields between two bones with limited movement is an example of gliding joint between carpals. Student, this is from the chapter locomotions and movement. So what is the correct answer? So it has asked the characteristic and an example of synovial joint human is Option number C that is fluid filled synovial cavity between two bones is the joint between atlas and axis which means option number C 
is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 65. In this question number 65, you can see a diagram showing axon terminal and synapse. Identify correctly at least two of A to D labeling. So student, observe this figure carefully. Now let's see what are the options given. Options are option number A, the A labeling is the receptor and the C is the synaptic vesicles. Option number B, B is the synaptic connection and D is potassium ion. Option number C, A is neurotransmitter and B is synaptic cleft. Option number D, C is neurotransmitter and D is calcium ion. Student, this is from the chapter Neural Control and Coordinations. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number A. Label A is the receptor and the C is the synaptic vesicles. So that is the correct answer. In this question number 66, you can see part A, B and C and D of the human eye are shown in this diagram. Select the option which gives correct identification along with this function or characteristic. This figure is from the unit human physiology. Now let's see what are the options given for the parts A, B, C and D. Option number A, part A is the retina which contains photoreceptor rods and cones. Option number B is the part B which is the blind spot and it has only a few rods and cones. Option number C is the part C is the aqueous chamber which reflects the light which does not pass through the lens. Option number D is the part D which is choroid and its anterior parts from ciliary body is their function. Now among these four options you have to tick the correct one. So what is the correct one? The correct answer is option number A. That is the part A is the retina and the function of retina is it contains the photoreceptor rods and cones. So that is the correct answer. Now let's move on to the next question. Which of the following statement is correct in relation to the endocrine system? Option number A. Adenohypophysis is under direct neural regulation of the hypothalamus. Option number B, organs in the body like gastrointestinal tract, heart, kidney and liver do not produce any hormones. Option number C, non-nutrients chemical produced by the body in trace amount that act as intracellular messengers are known as hormones. Option number D, releasing and inhibitory hormones are produced by the pituitary glands. Student, this is from the chapter Chemical Coordinations and Integrations. So what is the correct answer? That is option number C. Non-nutrients chemical produced by the body in trace amount that act as intracellular messengers are known as hormones. That is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 68. In this question number 68, you can see Select the answer which correctly matches the endocrine gland with the hormone it secretes and its function or deficiency symptom. Option number A, the name of the endocrine gland is the anterior pituitary and the hormone it secretes is the oxytocin and their function or deficiency symptoms are it stimulate uterus contraction during childbirth. Next is option number B, posterior pituitary and the hormone it releases the growth hormone and their function is over secretion stimulates abnormal growth that is their deficiency symptoms and the next is option number C that is the thyroid gland and their hormone is thyroxine and their function is or deficiency symptom is if there is lack of iodine in diet then it result in goiter. Next is option number D, corpus luteum, their hormone is testosterone and it stimulates spermatogenesis. Student, this is from the chapter human reproduction. There we have got all these different types of hormones 
and is also given in the chapter chemical coordinations and integrations. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is in option number C that is thyroid gland. Thyroid gland release thyroxine and if the thyroxine is lacking in your diet then it will form goiter. Okay? So, this is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 69. In the question number 69 you can see what is the correct sequence of sperm formation? Option number A spermatid, spermatocyte, spermatogonia then spermatozoa. Option number B spermatogonia, spermatocyte, spermatozoa and then spermatid. Option number C spermatogonia then spermatozoa, spermatocytes and then spermatid and option number D spermatogonia, spermatocytes then spermatid and then spermatozoa. This is a very easy question and it has come from the chapter human reproductions. So, how the sperms are formed? Which of the following four options is the correct option? So, out of these four options, what is the correct sequence for the formation of sperm? That is given in option number D. In option number D, it is written that spermatogonia after that spermatocyte, then spermatid and then the spermatozoa. Spermatozoa which means the sperm. Okay? So, this is the correct answer. 